BMW G Series, all keys lost. Yenwa ACP2 just made it too easy. No soldering, no stress. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. All visual material, brand names, and trademarks belong to their rightful owners and are used strictly under fair use policies to educate and assist technicians, car programmers, and automotive enthusiasts around the world. We urge all viewers to adhere to their local laws and OEM guidelines when performing any diagnostic or programming tasks. All right, here's a jaw-dropping question to kick things off. Can you program all keys loss for a BMW G chassis BDC2 module entirely on bench, without soldering, without reinstalling the module in the car, and without manually wiring anything? Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, not anymore. Thanks to the latest breakthrough from Yenwa Tech, it's real, and it's revolutionary. Today, we're diving into a game-changing update that's flipping the script on BMW diagnostics and key programming, specifically for the G Chassis BDC2 platform. We're talking about the Yenhua Mini ACDP and ACDP2 with Module 38 paired with their all-new BMW BDC2 Keys Learning Bench platform. Yes, you heard that right. All Keys Lost, AKL, support for BMW G Series BDC2, done on the bench, with zero soldering and 100% success when following the correct steps. Now, before we deep dive into the step-by-step -step breakdown, here's your personal mission. Let's hit 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments within 24 hours. If this update helps you or your garage, smash that like button, share your thoughts below, and give us a super thanks to keep this channel running strong. And hey, don't just watch. Join the pit crew by subscribing and tapping that bell. Now tell us, did you know you could program BDC2 keys completely off the car without any soldering? If yes, comment, yes, bench is king. If not, drop it in away in the comments below. All right, buckle up, because we're going to diagnostic overdrive with everything you need to know about this powerful new platform from Yenwa. Imagine this. You're dealing with a BMW G Series vehicle. Let's say a 5 Series, 7 Series, or an X vehicle, equipped with a BDC2 module. The customer lost all the keys. Traditionally, you'd be stuck either opening up the module, doing invasive soldering work, or risking damage trying to program directly in the vehicle. It's tedious, risky, and inefficient. But not anymore. With Yenwa Mini ACDP, slash ACDP2 plus Module 38, paired with the BMW BDC2 Keys Learning Bench platform, you can now perform the entire all-keys loss process outside the car, bench only. That's right. No more shuttling back and forth between your bench and the vehicle. No more risking corrupted data from unstable vehicle connections. This is diagnostic peace of mind. Let's break it down in easy steps. And don't worry, I'll walk you through like we're doing it live in the garage. So what does the BMW BDC2 bench platform really offer? One, full BMW BDC2 all keys loss support. It supports all key loss programming on the BDC2 system. Just pair it with module 38 and you're ready to go. This isn't partial support. It's full on dealer level functionality. Two, bench key learning. No need to keep reinstalling the BDC2 module into the car after each step. Learn keys directly on the bench, and it's plug and play once you're done. Three, emergency function testing. Before finalizing, you can test the emergency function, meaning whether the key is capable of switching the ignition on. This ensures your key has been properly learned and is functioning as expected. Four, smart antenna integration. Want to test the remote and keyless functions? This platform lets you connect smart key antennas and the remote control receiver right on the bench. Test remote lock slash unlock, passive entry, and more without ever stepping into the car. Five, multi-module connectivity. It directly interfaces with the BDC2 module, the DME control unit, and even the instrument cluster. This all-in-one testing saves time and avoids wiring headaches. Yenwa went all out on safety and simplicity. There's a built-in interface board that removes any need for manual wiring. The tool ensures accurate connection to the BDC2 module, preventing short circuits or data corruption. That means zero soldering, zero risk, 
and zero stress. And yes, it works not only with Yinhua's own ACDP tool, but also with any programmer that supports BDC2 protocols. It's a universal bench solution, not a closed loop system. Now that's what I call a smart investment for any automotive tech. So how do you actually perform the all keys loss function using the ACDP2? Here's the complete step-by-step -step process. Step one, read coding data. Begin by capturing the current coding structure of the module. This ensures you can restore original functionality later. Step two, read keys data. Next, grab the key data from the BDC2 module, essential for key matching and authentication. Step three, write coding data. Reapply the coding structure as needed once the key data is in place. From here, you move into the deeper process of adding a key, even when all keys are lost. Step four, backup coding data. Safeguard your existing data before any modification. Think of it as making a safety net. Step five, backup FAFP data. This contains cryptographic data linked to key authorization, essential for successful matching. Step six, write IMMO data. Inject new immobilizer data that links the module to your new key. Step seven, write coding data again. You'll reflash your configuration once the immobilizer data is in place. Step eight, generate dealer key. At this point, you've prepared the system. Now make the actual key, insert it, and turn on the ignition for recognition. Step nine, write DME ISN if required. Not all modules need this, but for many, you'll need to inject the ISN, individual serial number, to allow ignition. Step 10, reset EGS EWS. Final sync step. This allows the key to engage with the gearbox and overall system. Boom, key programmed, car starts, job done. If this guide has saved you from a future headache or you just learned something new, smash that like button right now. And if you're a fellow tech who's ever struggled with a G-Series BDC2 AKL case, drop your story in the comments. Let's build a helpful community right here on this channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You'll get all the latest updates, tutorials, and tool breakdowns. No fluff, just real garage wisdom. Let's answer the most common questions technicians have about this platform. Question, does the ACDP2 really support BMW BDC2 all keys lost now? A, hey, absolutely. You just need module 38 and the BDC2 bench platform. Question, can it work with other tools besides ACDP? A, hey, yes. As long as your tool supports BDC2 AKL, it's good to go. Question, do I need to read a locked ECU? A, hey, nope. DME isn't locked. No extra steps required. Question, is reading ISN mandatory? Hey, not exactly. You need to back up EEPROM data, which will be used to write the ISN later. Question what modules are required for EGS reset? Hey, only the bench platform. No extras needed. Question do I need donor antennas for testing? Hey, not necessary. You can either use smart antennas or reinstall the BDC2 in the vehicle to test. Now, remember that opening question? Can you program all keys lost for a BMW G chassis BDC2 module entirely on bench without soldering or reinstalling module? The answer is yes, 100% yes. With the Yenwa ACDP2 module 38 and the new BDC2 keys learning bench platform, this previously complex job is now bench only and stress-free. And here's what HSR Motors thinks. This is not just a software update. It's a paradigm shift in how we approach diagnostics and key programming. Whether you're a solo technician, a locksmith, or a dealership coder, this tool will upgrade your workflow. No doubt. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think about this update? Have you faced any struggles with BMW BDC2 AKL cases? Drop your experience or questions in the comments below. We read everyone. And before we go, here's a random fun fact for you. Did you know? BMW's BDC2 module not only controls key recognition, but also manages over 20 sub-functions in the vehicle, including power distribution and access control. So you're not just programming a key, you're restoring the entire security backbone of the vehicle. So now it's your turn. Like this video if you learned something valuable. Comment your thoughts or struggles below. Share this video with a fellow technician who needs to see it.
and subscribe for the most in-depth and practical automotive diagnostics content on the internet. Your support keeps this channel alive. Thank you for watching till the very end. Until next time, stay sharp, stay safe, and happy diagnosing.